Greetings, this is Marty from the Black Father Support Group and welcome to another one of our catch-up sessions. Um, we had a nice session this week. We had a young man who, who came along, um, you know, with his dad. I wanted to get some uh, feedback, some information about how, we're fi how we found the first few weeks of when baby arrives and what's expected of dad at that time. Now, you know, when you look at... Um, women's blogs and so on and so forth talking about that subject usually it will go something along the lines of well how does dad create a relationship with a brand new baby what things should he do and then the women would go about telling the men what they need to do it would be something along the lines of well you know take time to bottle feed your baby uh you know some water when you know between times when mum's not feeding the baby take time out to bathe the baby, take time out to uh, play with and carry and hold and maybe even take outside the baby and they'll talk about that kind of stuff. Um, at the father's group, it was a slightly... Uh, okay, at the father's group, it was totally different. The advice wasn't slightly different, it was completely different. So the advice that we gave was something along the lines of First of all, understand that your lady is going to be crazy, like crazy. Um, expect to uh, always be wrong. So even the things that you do right are going to be viewed as wrong. Um, expect the things that you do wrong to not to be judged on the thing you've done wrong, but judged on what she's thought about what you've done wrong and what she's made, what she thought you did, mean. So, case in point, if you forget to take out the baby's nappy with you to throw in the trash as you're going to work, that means you don't love the baby and you don't love her and you're a horrible person and then she'll treat you as a person who doesn't love her baby. So expect that level of discomfort. Expect to do all of that whilst not getting um, any sleep, uh, expect to do all of that, uh, whilst having to shut your mouth because you don't know what it's like to have a baby and have a 10 pound baby pushed out of you. How do you like it? You're gonna get all of that. So uh, we were like just prepared to be hated uh, for the next three, four months, let her get herself resituated, let the baby figure itself out. And all you got to do is be there and keep your mouth shut and then cuss and complain when you come to the father's group. But when you're in the house, just keep yourself to yourself. That was the kind of advice. There are some other bits that were said, which I think we should keep within the confines of the father's group. If you want to come and find out what else we, should, we say, you should come down to one of our um, groups. I will put, let me see, I've got enough space. I will put the address just here. Um, so yeah. It was a, about backative. It was about having your woman's back no matter what. Even if she doesn't want you to have her back. Your job is to have her back. Because once you start having each other's back, that's where power is created. That's where um, you can start creating some sort of longevity in your relationship, strength in your relationship. And not letting other people get into your relationship, get in between you. Um, not have the parents putting their pressures on you as to what they expect of you and so on and so forth. You and your lady figure it out between the two of you and just have your lady's back. We saw a good example of that with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Um, stick with me now. Uh, because what I saw there... Uh, from what I saw from the different interviews was that when Jada decided to put that video out, you know, talking about how we got to do us and boycott the Oscars and all the rest of it, um, Will clearly wasn't 100% behind it. Like, he wasn't 100% comfortable with it, I should say. But that didn't stop him from sort of uh, not being behind her. So he still supported her. He still was like, you know, maybe his tone wasn't as strong as hers, 
but he was definitely going to rock with his wife and wherever she was going, he was going to go with it. Um, so the, yeah, there's going to be times when you're going to have to have that backative, be that backative, even when you don't actually uh, agree 100% with where your woman's coming from. And when you have each other's back like that, then you're actually able to start making moves, making power moves as a couple. But that backative doesn't necessarily have to stick between you and your wife. It doesn't only have to happen there. That can happen with groups of people. So, you know, with a father's group, what I find is that, you know, when things are getting difficult or things are getting troublesome, there is someone I could rely on. You know, there's someone I could talk to about it. They're at the father's group. Um, there was a brother who I was talking to just last week about issues that I were having and then the tables completely turned this week and he was calling me about an issue that he had. So we're actually able to now, you know, be there for each other. And again, when you can have that, it's called a circle of power. And these circles are networks of power all are, are all over the place, all over the country, all over the world. You'll find networks of power. You'll see it in media, you'll see it in um, healthcare, you'll see it in education. You'll see it in in races as well. You'll see it in tribes, in African tribes. Different tribes will have like their own network of power. And so, you know, over here in the Western world where we're always taught individualism and we're all just dotted about in our own place, it's difficult to um, create those networks and those circles of power. So start with you and your lady, you know, and you'll see that from there you can actually start creating a network of your own. Your network of power can even come from something as simple as a WhatsApp group. I belong to this WhatsApp group and we got talking about these refugees who are from the Sudan, from Ethiopia, Somalia, those sort of countries, Eastern Africa, and they're stuck on the French border uh, with nowhere to go with no stuff. And I was explaining to uh, a couple of brothers and sisters there in the group that um, people like Barack, um, that's Dita Holborn and Lee Jasper and them, you know, they arrange trips to go over to France and help people. And we decided within the group that we were going to, you know, put a bit of money together and we'll get a car and we'll go down there. Um, so within like a day, we raised £150 just by the people in the WhatsApp group. Uh, and you need to look at really working together really working together because there is no other choice in the matter working by yourself for yourself on your own doesn't work it'll get you so far and if you do really well it'll get you isolated and when you're isolated you're easy to pick off so it's a really about working within a group and within a network even if there's disagreements and, and misunderstandings and you know conflicts deal with them go into them work them out figure them out move on even if you don't agree just work a way of being able to move forward whilst not agreeing don't break the circle of power because what we've found is that we've been told time and time again that you can do it all you can have it all you, you know be your own man so on and so forth and then we find ourselves aiming and trying and working and trying to get to somewhere and it feels like you're on a travelator. So as a group, we don't just talk about something. I know that if it was me on my own, I would probably just say, well, let me send you know, a, a, you know, a few quid to, um, to Zeta Holborn and those and let them take care of it. But because of the fact that I'm working within a group, I can actually put some money together and actually do something about it as well. So it feels a lot, a lot better, a lot stronger. Um, do me a favour, go to, uh, up here, go to the Black Fathers Support Group website, that's bfsg.org.uk, and, sorry, bfsg.org.uk, and um, on the right hand side of the, uh, of the screen, you'll see there a link where you can donate to the, uh, to the trip that we're going to take to go down to the sort of things that we need to get are things like sanitary towels, we need to get toothbrushes and toothpaste, we need to get things like warm clothing, fleeces, um, things to cook with, things to cook, 
tin openers, you know, literally the bare essentials, underwear. You know, just just go into Primark and just raid at the underwear section. We need to be doing those sort of things just so that our brothers and sisters over there can be able to do what they've got to do to find themselves where they go into. But that's what we're doing. So I need your help as well. I need you to be a part of our power, circle of power. Go to bfsg.org.uk on the right hand side of the screen. You'll see a little donate button. Please click on there and donate. Last thing I need to say as well. I told you it was going to be a short video. Uh, last thing I need to say as well is that every Tuesday you will now hear me on Galaxy Radio. For those who are not from the, from London, Galaxy Radio is by far the biggest, most established radio, uh, community radio station out there. And um, I've, I have the privilege of running a show, prime time Tuesday evenings, Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday at... 8 o'clock every Tuesday, I'll be hosting the Black Father Support Group radio show. And off the back of that, we'll be recording each show. So if you can't, you know, get on, get, if you can't hear us then, go onto iTunes and, you know, find us there. I'll put a link just below. Um, there is another Black Fathers radio show as well. So, be sure to look for the one that has the same icon as a sort of video. I think it would be there, I think. It would be there. It's either there or there. There's an icon and you'll find that. Look for that icon when you go to iTunes. Um, search for the Black Fathers radio show and we'll come up. Uh, all right, and that's it. That's what I have to say. Thank you very much for your time. This is Marty from the Black Father Support Group. Check me out next week, Tuesday, on Galaxy Radio for the Black Father Support Group show. Also, you can download me onto your iPhone and uh, pick up the podcast there as well by just checking out the links below. Um, until next strong, ladies and gentlemen, this is Marty signing off.